Georgia's got a different group of guys right now. That was Eric Zier talking about the Georgia offense as it cycles into 2021. JT Daniels, George Pickens, Dominique Blaylock should return, Zamir White. Obviously, uh, I'm just going off the top of my head here. You've got uh, Marcus Rosemary, Jack Saint, Burton, uh, Burton, Pickens, Jackson. Got a lot of guys on this Georgia offense, and a lot of people, including really good former players, are expecting those guys to really perform in 2021, starting off with that big game against Clemson. Dean Luggy from Dog Post making a smart Georgia fan. Let's talk about this. For a little bit, this is something we talk about over on the website every single day, dogpost.com. You should go check it out, dawgpost.com. Here's what Eric – so Eric Zier was the starting quarterback for the Georgia Bulldogs, an All-American one, uh, for a time in the 1990s. And he had had this to say, among other things, on a show with Buck Ballou, a podcast. As you know – when you don't have the talent on the field, and no res- disrespect to anybody who's been playing, but we've got a different group of guys right now that are starting to pick up this offense. That is something that Kiris Jackson was hinting at um, at the beginning of the 2020 season, but it didn't come to fruition until the end of the season when you had the transition from Stetson uh to JT Daniels as well as a lot of guys like George Pickens getting healthy. Georgia really did have a, a rash of injuries kind of at the wrong time for that Florida game. But that's probably what Kiaris was wanting was trying to explain and wanting to see. Of course he's one of the better players that Georgia had more consistent. But there's no doubt it, it's hard to really um it's hard to really compare Jake Fromm, George Pickens, Lawrence Cager, Dominique Blaylock, um, et cetera, Eli Wolf, to JT Daniels, George Pickens, Darnell Washington, uh, Marcus Rosemary St. Saint Jack, Jermaine Burton, Kiaris Jackson, uh, Smith. It's a different – Blaylock coming back. It, it is a different level of player, specifically a quarterback. I mean, when you look at the production from JT Daniels versus what you got the final year with Jake Fromm, it's just not, it's not even close. I mean, it's it's hardly close comparing those four games to much of anything in Jake's career. And Jake was a baller at times, but he didn't have any 400 yard games. I don't think he had very many 300. Here's JT Daniels coming in with two games over 390 yards and, and out of four. So um, a different group of guys right now. Well, yeah. I mean, the guy that pops out to me that people don't talk about more than anyone, this is the guy people are missing. Uh, I'll, I'll say two of them. First of all, Jermaine Burton. I mean, because George Pickens is going to get all the attention, and rightfully so. I mean, George should be a top 50 NFL pick. But Burton is is completely um, equipped to be yet another problem on the perimeter for uh, defenders. And it's tough out there in the SEC on the perimeter. I mean, you're often by yourself in many ways. You have help at times. But when you got to worry about Pickens, you're going you're gonna to shade towards Pickens. J- Jermaine Burton is not an average SEC wide receiver. I don't think Kiaris Jacks is an average one either. They're just maybe not the playmaker that George Pickens is. Um, Just those three alone would be all sorts of trouble, but you still have Smith, you have uh, Rosemary St. Jack, you have Blaylock coming back, who is as steady as it got for Georgia. This is probably, I'm not going to mention the tight ends, um, whether you're talking about Fitzpatrick or, or Darnell, the washing machine, Washington. Just the wide receivers alone, are as good as this program's had. I don't know about maybe ever because Aaron Murray and company were really good. And if you remember, that team ran up and down the field. It was not, I mean, okay, so I'm a photographer on field, been doing that for 20 years. I've also covered the team for 20 years. So that's a long story as to why I shoot photos. I always had to, and I just never stopped. But in that job, you know, you got to move around some. So in 2012, 
that offense with Aaron, Chris Conley, TK, uh, Michael Bennett, Marlon Brown, those guys. I remember when Georgia would get the ball on kickoffs, I wouldn't even, I would just go to the other side of the field because I knew they were coming right to score a touchdown. And I knew that at the end of the season when they were playing Auburn and Tech and, and so forth, when it wasn't a real big fight like it was against Alabama or Florida that year, I knew just go down the other end of the field because Aaron's going to throw the ball and they're going to be down there in like two seconds. It's, it's going to be nothing for them. And they were. I mean, they got down the field in no time. I wonder if this team coming up in 21 is, is – I mean, I wonder if they're going to be the same way because I think they might be. Now, are they going to do that to Clemson? You know, probably not. But I think Zyre's got it right when he says it's a different group of guys. And to the 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 like the trolls that get on here, first of all, I appreciate you watching the videos. That's awesome. Secondly, I, it's sad that you're triggered by anything you know that's not your team. But hey, be you. You know, I hope you had a better life. But the fact of the matter is that they do have a, a different group of guys right now. They have not ever had this group all at the same time. I mean, obviously not, because Blaylock and Rosemey, excuse me, Blaylock, Burton, Rosemey, St. Jack, and Smith have never been on the field uh, or on a team that where they're all playing at the same time. This is the first time that's happened. So next year when they've got Blaylock, Jackson, just Blaylock, Jackson, and Pickens, just like just Burton, Jackson, and Pickens, would be all sorts of trouble, all sorts of trouble for for a, a defense in the SEC. No, they're not LSU 2019. I don't think. I mean, we're, we'll see, but I don't think they're at that level of receiver. No, they're not 2020 Alabama. They're not that level. But they're not. I mean, I'm I'm trying to think of of groups that are better than them in recent memory in the league. Those two definitely are. But I, I I think if you want to make the comparison to the to the 19 LSU team, you know, because I don't see a Heisman Trophy winner in this group right now, and I've been a Heisman Trophy voter for 15 years. Um, I don't see that right now. George certainly could be that guy. He's he can do just such amazing things. But I don't I don't see a Heisman Trophy winner right now in the receiver group. Could Daniels win it? Yeah, he could, just the same way Joe Burrow did. But this is such an upgrade at Georgia compared to what they've had in the past. They just simply have not had these type of players at wide, at wide receiver. It was a real, real weakness uh, in the 2010s of Georgia after Aaron Murray left. They did not have great receivers. Uh, not, not really. Um, so that's been something that Kirby and company have really tried to address and this is something we talk about all the time on Dog Post. Make sure you're going to dogpost.com. We'll see you over on the website.